Imagine a life with no alarms, no neighbors, no bills, no job, no traffic. This is as good as it sounds. Such an unconventional lifestyle, despite its benefits, means you'll have to reject many conformities of urban life. You won't have water, electricity, you'll be alone and unsafe. The best thing you can have is a dog's companionship. These adorable animals will love and protect you unconditionally. In this video, we have listed 10 dog breeds that will best adapt to the lifestyle of the wilderness. The first dog in this list is a police classic, the Belgian Melanois. With this dog, you can explore the wilderness without fear because it's one of the best watchdogs that exist. He'll protect you while you're sleeping or when someone might try to attack you. The Belgian Malinois is a big herding dog with strong muscles and elegant looks. This breed has physical features suitable for any climate. Because of their double coat with a dense underlayer and a protective overlayer, these dogs may overheat only in extreme temperatures and struggle only in the cold under negative 12 degrees. While it's considered suitable for police and military, for sure a Belgian Malinois will be useful in the wilderness as well. Living in the wild means you'll also be exposed to another danger, bigger animals, than you. A Kangal dog, which was bred to protect livestock from different predators, may be one of the best choices. This breed has a natural protection instinct with the ability to sense a predator, and it's also the right size, up to 32 inches and 145 pounds, for confronting it. He is an extremely fast dog, up to 31 miles per hour, and has a biting force up to 700 PSI, twice more than a pit bull. Also, they have double coats, about 7 centimeters thick, that protects them during extreme temperatures in the wild. Irish Wolfhound Because of his size, the Irish Wolfhound needs space and freedom, which makes him very suitable for the wilderness. These quiet and calm dogs have a dense coat and resist lower temperatures easily. The Irish Wolfhound's ancestors were bred to hunt wolves. This instinct is retained by the modern Irish. Therefore, he'll have the guts to face even the wildest animals, just to protect you. Enduring and athletic, this dog can walk up to 10 miles through the wild without stopping. These dogs were bred for long hunts and solitude, and the lack of socialization won't be a problem for them. Siberian Husky these dogs are enduring, have high tolerance to the cold, and the ability to survive with a little amount of food. They have double coats, which keeps them isolated from the cold very well. The undercoat is short and warm, whereas the overcoat is long and water resistant. This makes them suitable for climate changes. Because of his wolf-like looks, he can be an important factor for your safety. This highly energetic breed was bred to be a sled dog and can be a huge help in transportation of different kinds of stuff. A Siberian Husky loves exploring just as much as you do. Caucasian Shepherd Dog Bred to protect herds from large predators like wolves and bears, with the Caucasian Shepherd Dog, safety will be your last concern. They have sharp hearing and sight senses and a natural instinct of protection. These huge dogs with double coats can survive even the most extreme cold temperatures. They are excellent companions for long and difficult walks, whether in hills or mountains. Canaan Dog The national dog of Israel, Canaan Dog isn't just an old breed, but a rare one as well. What makes him especially suitable for living in the wild is his physical structure. This dog has a double coat. The inner layer protects him from extreme temperatures because it changes its density to adopt to the climate. For instance, in the desert, this will keep him fresh during the day, whereas at nights, he'll be isolated from the cold. This breed is also agile, tireless, and will never leave your side. The Alaskan Malamute One of the oldest sled dog breeds of the Arctic, the Alaskan Malamute loves life in the wild. Outdoor activities like hiking, camping, and sledding are his favorite. 
He is extremely active and a strong dog, with a double coat that endures pretty well, even in the temperatures under negative 28 degrees. Very agile in wear transportation, this dog, with pleasure, will ease the carriage of different kinds of things during your exploration into the wild. The Saint Bernard History shows that the St. Bernard breeds were used by the monks of the hospices of the Swiss Alps to search and rescue the lost travelers. With this dog as a companion in the wild, you will be safe anytime. The St. Bernard can walk up to three to four miles, and because he is a working dog, he will carry your things. This breed adapts very easily to new environments, especially in those with a cold climate. Although he is one of the largest breeds, his nutrition needs are minimal. Norwegian Elkhound Just as an adventurer, the Norwegian Elkhound needs space, exploration, and new experiences. This watchdog is brave and energetic, and also an excellent guardian. They prefer the winter, the snow and the cold, but they have tolerance to the heat as well, bred to be a hunting dog. The Norwegian Elkhound can hunt animals of different sizes, from rabbits to bears. With this kind of dog in the middle of the wilderness, not only will you have fresh food every single day, but you won't feel in danger. The Australian Cattle Dog The Australian Cattle Dog was bred to endure the high temperatures of Australia. Although he has a double coat, it's short, therefore he can tolerate the heat. The external, water-resistant layer protects him on rainy days. This breed resists the cold as well. He is a working dog, but takes his guard duties very seriously too. When he feels danger, he will warn you by barking, whereas he can be extremely aggressive towards strangers. This dog can run up to five miles and can walk all day long without getting tired. Enduring and adventurous, this dog breed has a strong instinct of survival. With an Australian cattle dog, you will never want to return to civilization. So, before leaving, which breed will you choose for this adventure? Let us know in the comments.